What's up, everybody? This is EJ. What's up with the people? This your boy, FJ. And we just want to talk. We just want to talk. So we got an email that says... She's wanting to know, you know, at this point, should I just put him on child support and be done with it so that he can at least do his part? Or should I just not worry about it and keep doing it the way I've been doing it because I don't need him anyway? I mean, you might as well. It's no need in going back and forth and debating in your mind, you know, is it being spiteful or not? I mean, if you feel that your child's father is not taking care of his, his child, then, you know, do what you have to do. To me, it's nothing to think about. So you say put him on child support? Why? I mean, if, if, the, if the father is not being there financially, physically, you feel like he should be doing more than what he's doing besides just showing up at birthday parties or whatever it may be. Do what you have to do. That way, your child will be taken care of by his father. You know what? I think a lot of people are going to call me selfish for this, and a lot of women are going to disagree with me on this. When it comes down to children, if you don't want to take care of your child, I'm not going to make you take care of your child. Go on. She doesn't need him financially. She's made that clear. And it is his responsibility to be a father. But if I have to make you take care of your own child, then I'm not going to bother you at all. You should want to be a responsible parent. And if you don't, then fine. Just move around. It's that simple for me. A lot of times once a man gets put on child support, then he's completely out of the picture. You know, some, some guys get a nice lump sum taken out of their check, and I know that for sure, but not me. <laughs> not me. I'm not a child support type of guy. It's, it's still not going to make him be a father. And to me, that's the most important part. Regardless if you're well, getting you money. Said, but you said put him on child support. I, I do. And I so now you're it. saying it's not going to make him be a father. It's not. So, so what are you telling her? I know a lot of women are going to say, it's not about the money. It's about, you made this baby with me, so you should have to pay just like I have to pay. And I saw a lot of women on Facebook say, okay, well, even if she doesn't need the money, put the money up towards a savings account, let it go towards the college fund, let it go to his first car. Put the money up, even if you don't need it. The principle is, dad needs to be responsible. It's not about the money for her. She just wants him to step up and be a dad. And so when you say it doesn't matter how much money they take from him, that's not going to make him be a dad. It's not because I know people that's 50 and 55 now. They're still not dads. I saw on Facebook where a, a young lady was saying, well, you have to be careful when you put a man on child support because even if he's doing just a little or even halfway spending time with him, once you put them on child support, a lot of men are through, period. I'm not going over there. I'm not going to pick him up. I'm not spending any more time with that child. She got what she wanted. It's the child support, so I'm good. Sometimes child support may bring a balance as well. You get him this weekend, or I have him on this holiday. You get her on this holiday. You get him this time. I mean, I'm just saying it so may bring... So you're saying like sometimes child support can be that push yeah, that some men need. Yeah, it, it could be. So do you think she should put him on child support? You said I, it was I, really simple. It, it was simple, but <laughs> after my wife kind of broke it down and saying that I'm not going to make you be a father, I'm not going to make you do this, I'm not going to pressure you into I'm not. getting a couple of dollars from you, it, makes, it actually makes me rethink it. And I would say, almost say no. Some women will call me selfish and say, well, Yvette, it's not about what you want and it's not about what you have to ask him. That's still his father. He should be paying child support. I hear y'all. Me personally, if I have to make you take care of your own son with your DNA, with your eyes and your nose and your ears stuck on his body, if I have to make you take care of him, I'm not going to bother you at all. And no doubt about it, some women are struggling with two, three, four, however many kids you have. And you need that financial assistance. You need it. It's nothing to talk about when you don't have the help. Money is not a factor in this situation. This is what she said. But there are women out there that really need the financial help for their children. And to those women, I will give you a ride to the child support office. Call me. Come. I will take you to the child support office because you need help. And that's not just on you to figure out what are my kids going to eat tonight? 
what are they going to wear? How am I going to get their school supplies? How am I going to get their uniforms? That's, that's nothing to talk about. But for this specific situation, if money is not a factor, if I have to make you do it, I don't want you doing it. If you are a man and you don't want to take care of a boy or a girl, I will say a girl, but the thing with little boys and they're growing up so fast nowadays, at the age of five, six, seven year olds, they already sagging, they already carrying guns. If you're a man and you don't want to raise up your son, that's a major problem to me. Little girls need their daddies too. They and do. that's that's they a do. major problem. If you don't want to raise your own daughter, if you don't want to see her grow, and if you don't want to instill certain things in her about how she should be treated by men. And, and you, you know, a dad is a girl's first love. I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard. You know, our fathers are the first men that we fall in love with. And if they destroy the image of men to us, baby, it's a long road ahead. So I just feel like if, if I have to make you be that thing that you should be, then I'm not going to bother you because I don't need you neglectful towards my child. I don't need you being resentful. And I don't want you parenting half-heartedly. You don't want to take care of my child? Fine. My child will get taken care of. You know, I'll, I'll sell. She'll sell nothing. Well, I'm just, you but know, you know, coochie sales. And then mothers, mothers do what they have to do to take care of their children. That's no true. doubt about it. But since you're not in that boat. I'm not. Then I'm in a ship. I'm in a ship. You're a I'm in a ship. <laughs> a ship. You're a one parent. Thank you, so. baby. You got to want to make progress. And I'm talking to my brothers. You got to want to make the extra effort. You got to want to go the extra mile. You got to want to put forth a better effort to be there. It may be, you may not have enough money to, to buy the big gifts for birthdays and the big gifts for Christmas. But you know what? A drive down the street, a, a call you when you get out of school, a call in the morning time before you go to school, or all of that means so, so much. It's not all about money. You can't buy love. You can't sell love. You can't do none of that. So what I'm saying is, just be there. We want to hear from you guys. Put it in the comments below because I'm sure she will be reading. And we will see you guys next time. Again, this is EJ. And it's your boy FJ. And we just wanted to talk. We just wanted to talk.